Okay, uh, after, after having a few days to reflect on the season, uh, a couple things, you know, really stand out to me. Uh, at the first of the year, one of our main goals was to get our edge back uh, to play hard-nosed, uh, blue-collar, um, you know, smash-mouth football, and I really feel like that our guys accomplished that. Uh, bottom line is we came within 13 seconds of winning the national championship. Uh, the very first of the year, uh, you know, I think um, – very first game, we was probably average at best. Our guys found a way to get better each game and uh, found a way to get us to the last game and come that close to winning. Um, that was uh, very special to be a part of. Extremely proud of our team, um, the way they represented us all year. Um, they laid a foundation uh, that the future is very bright and uh, really looking forward to the future and, and building this thing the right way. Questions? Coach, compared with how you felt after the national championship three years ago, do you feel a lot more optimistic that you got a, a, a much better team coming back? Well, I mean, I mean obviously we, we won three years ago and we lost uh, this one at, at the end. But if you're talking, you know, big picture as far as moving forward, uh, we got a lot of our, our main uh, players coming back. Um, you know, we feel very good about uh, – you know, our overall program and where we're going, and uh, really feel like our death, the best days are ahead of us. Because in that final sequence on third and eighth and ten, you were trying to call a timeout before the pass interference. What what did you see that you didn't like? You wanted to get a timeout in there? Well, at the time, there was a little discussion um, you know, to make sure that uh, you know we had a good idea of what uh, you know, what they were going to do and, and who they're going to go after, and uh, so that was really about it. Yeah, going into the next season, the dynamics going to be very different. You're probably going to be ranked really high. Uh, how does that change kind of your approach to getting this team sure. emotionally ready, ready to do what it needs to do as compared to the past season? Yeah, well, well, first of all, I think, you know, that's a good thing that, you know, our, our program is where it should be uh, as far as, you know, expected to be one of the top teams and all that. Our approach will be no different. We will still work just as hard. Uh, we'll still have the same philosophy. Uh, about hard work, about improving, um, and about keeping our edge. You guys, what's the plan with Nick now that you actually have some time to really sit down and develop him and stuff? Kind of, what are you looking for him from the next several weeks? Well, we're very <coughs> excited about the spring uh, with Nick. I mean, we got information, um, a lot of information uh, throughout the season. And we'll really go back and uh, – even build around his strengths even more. Uh, what he did in one year, not going through spring and not winning the job for two weeks before the season was phenomenal. And I don't know if there's ever been a situation similar to that. Um, really think that uh, his upside is very, very high. He's a natural leader. His teammates have uh, a lot of respect for him as well as the coaches do. And uh, this will be the first time that we've actually had a quarterback come back after one year, so we're pretty excited about that. What are one or two things you think that Nick can really improve on over this uh, time, going through spring and summer? You, you know, I, I, he throws the ball well. I, I think the big thing is just getting timing down with him and his receivers, which, um, and then just giving him probably a little more freedom uh, now that he'll he'll know the offense even better because, you know, week to week he got a game plan. It was good for him having that 30 days you know, and I think you could see that uh, in the passing game and all that. But uh, you know, <coughs> we're looking forward to spring. I know you guys really like the way he's throwing the ball in practice. Could you see that skill set kind of opening the offense up in terms of more pass plays next year? Yeah, it could be. I mean, you know, we, we could uh, – we'll see where we're at with the, the talent around him. Uh, we could be more balanced. But at the same time, I mean, we're going to play to our strengths. And uh, But, uh, you know, we really feel like we can be effective in the passing game. At left tackle with Greg going up, is Patrick Miller a guy you might look at over there, or who are some of the other guys? Sean yeah, Coleman. Sean Coleman, Patrick Miller, Robert Left. I mean, we're going to open that dude up and uh, you know see who who wins who wins that job. And uh, you know the good thing is we you know we have have a little bit of depth at that that has some experience. Will uh, Avery Young get a look on the left side? Or are you going to keep going? Uh, you know we we haven't got that far yet. Uh, you know as as we get done with recruiting and. We'll kind of uh, start thinking a little bit more personnel-wise and all that. You know, Avery's just 
sustained a kind of painful injury there during the game and he played through it. What does it say about him in your eyes? Yeah, first play of the game. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he, he's a tough guy. He's a great competitor. Uh, he had a, a pretty bad ankle in, in, injury, you know, midway through the year and battled through that. He's very athletic. Um, you know, he, he's, a, he's a great kid. What kind of other position changes? Is there any position changes that saw Trevon Reed set some on Instagram about him going to corner? Yeah, that was premature. Uh, we've not talked about any of that. And, you know, we'll uh, once we get to spring and our meetings, pre-spring meetings, we'll talk through. Uh, you know, things like that. Any position? You're talking about any position changes? Yeah. Same like we're in four too. Still going to be a while before you figure out. Yeah, you, you know, with him, it was great with him. We had a need. Uh, he asked to, to move over there, um, and, and we'll we'll evaluate all those things at a later day. Did all the guys, all the early good brothers, get in? Are they all here? Yes. Yeah, they're all here, and off to a good start. That's the line they like as well. Yeah. Could you talk about especially the two high school guys and what sort of transition it is for them to come straight from high school, starting school here, and I guess starting their workouts when they're going to those things? Yeah, uh, you, you know, it's good, especially, you know, the, the junior college players, you know, it's a little easier transition. The, the high school guys, I mean, it's something new, uh, but uh, we got a very good support staff. The, their teammates have already, you know, developed relationships with them, trying to help them out. And that's, the, that's the great thing about our group. Uh, we're a close team, um, and they take care of each other. Now there's some talk about Ricky Parks being able to rejoin the team. Has that happened yet? And you expect it? Yeah, he's, gonna, he's walking on and uh, we're going to give him, him an opportunity um, you know, to prove himself. To help, help with depth there, what do you kind of told him and what to expect for him going to the spring? Uh, really nothing other than we're going to give him an opportunity. Yes, what do you envision the pH back to old Jay Well, I mean, that's going to be a big question this spring. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll mix and match uh, guys. We'll try a lot of different guys, and we'll see, uh, you know, see where we're at. Guess how 